What are you What are you drinking? I got okay. So I got all uh, all these beers this week because I uh, you Ooh, know I didn't I feel love, like going I'm to another store. In this. So I tune in. I got the winter lager that with spices that clearly they are ripping off the Sam Adams winter lager. All right, so here we go. All right, I'm tuning in on Twitch. I'll, I'll be quiet on I'll be quiet on the uh, stream. Okay. So here we go. Winter Lager by Aldi. I believe it's by State of Brewing. Let's see what it's like. I got a feeling I'm not going to like it. Yeah, dude, 100%. Like, it's almost identical. All right. So... Now, I've not had Sam Adams Winter Lager, but that seems a little dark, even for, for that. This looks like it might be like a Bach style or something. Is there any? No, nah, okay. There's no yeast in it. That's all I was checking for. Okay, so that's what it should look like. All right. And yeah, I was uh, I was saying, like, I wasn't sure what the spices were going to be. All right, so we have a not clear lager, which is always a great start. Um, It's... <laughs> Glass, dirt. All my glasses are dirty. Um, what did I do? Anyway, um, definitely not clear. Murky. Um, I'd call that a brown to a dark brown, with a tan head, not well sustaining. Um, let's smell the aroma. Okay, kind of smells like wet dog. That could be the glass. I do get the spices. It's actually quite mild on the spices. I don't know if I get nutmeg. I definitely get a lot of caramel roast and maybe even a little chocolate. Okay. Yeah, I get cinnamon, big cinnamon. Maybe a little nutmeg, but I'm not getting a I'm not getting much. Honestly, it's just cinnamon and vanilla. Huge on the taste. It tastes like 90% of funky Buddhist beers. But not quite as good. But just with that kind of flavoring. I mean, I guess it's not, you know, okay. If I'm being fair, it's not terrible. It doesn't have a cheap malt taste. Um, the aroma is just, there's like nothing on the aroma. Got a little bit of hopping, but mainly I yeah, just vanilla and cinnamon. If there's nutmeg, I, I, don't, I don't taste it. I don't know. Whatever. Three out of five mugs. Sure. I guess. Uh, that's probably a fair assessment. All right. Well, that's enough of that. I don't, I don't, there's nothing else to say about it. Hey, for $6.99 a six pack, it's not the worst fucking beer I've ever had by any stretch of the imagination. So, all right. I promoted you to group leader. I'm going to go grab a beer. Okay. Sounds good. back oh, anyway well here i'll uh i'll keep waxing about this for a minute it's yeah i mean like it's just so cloudy I, like i guess even some box can have a protein haze if they're higher alcohol what's the alcohol on this? it's 5.6 there is no reason it should have a, a protein haze it, it's not high enough alcohol that's just poor brewing man uh, maybe, I mean, maybe because of the, the, the especially malts and things like that, but uh, I don't know about all that. I mean, you can just use an amylase and get rid of that crap. Whatever. But, ain't terrible. Um, it is without question the beer that if you bring, uh, to a, uh, to a, to a friend's house that, they would sit in their fridge until somebody else came to drink it. So nobody, nobody would drink that. There's a reason it's still at the shelf on all these. Uh, at all these. 